In front of me is my Taro Hexacopter. Now I've introduced this to you guys in the past. I've done some autonomous spline waypoints and just really love this frame. And it's going to be the test dummy for Raspberry Pi and some of the drone kit stuff I've been demonstrating. Now I realize this isn't pretty, but I have this mounted here. It's powered through the system. Ultimately, you wanna to try to power this via USB because there's power regulation and all that going on. But for now, I'm just powering it directly off of the header pins. And this afternoon, I got Copter 3.3.3 up and running. I just wanted to have the latest. I had a pretty old version of firmware. Everything is tuned. You can see we have a green light GPS lock, which sometimes just really surprises me here in the garage to be able to do that. And unfortunately, it's raining pretty hard outside. So what I'm going to do is take the script, the takeoff and land script that I demonstrated last week and actually demonstrate it live on the hexacopter, but ultimately we won't be taking off because there's no props and just see how that behaves. For starters, let me just quickly go over the wiring. We have telemetry one going to our 3DR radio and we have telemetry two, as I demonstrated previously with this custom wire. On the other end, is this FTDI connector plugged into our Raspberry Pi. We'll be communicating to this over the serial port. And with that telemetry one port, we have this 3DR radio. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that's set to USB. We have our on the go cable. Now let me go ahead and see if I can get us connected over USB. What I'll do next is I will SSH into Raspberry Pi. It's on the same network as my Mac and we'll run that script. Now, one thing I want to point out is obviously if you're in the field, I have this little Wi-Fi adapter. You're not going to have that. You're generally not going to have Wi-Fi. Perhaps you have it tethered to your phone, but what you generally want to do is make sure that your script is somewhat self-contained, that you can start it on boot up and have it perform what you need it to do. If you do have a connection in the field, then obviously you can shell in and run your commands that way. For this scenario, since we're on the network, I'll go ahead and shell in and run our command. I know that my PI address is 10.0.1.100, so I'll go ahead and make that connection. It's asking for my password. Go ahead and log in. I've gone ahead and changed to the super user. Now, let me just demonstrate our connection that it's working okay before I run our drone kit script. So this is my proxy. I'm telling it that I want to make a connection over the serial port, which is what we have Pi connected to, our baud rate. And then we specify, I'm just giving it hexacopter. That's where all the flight logs will be stored. Now I'll go ahead and hit enter. And then we should see this communication happen. What I'll do now is I'll demonstrate a command that I'll send and I will turn the safety switch on. I had to turn it on just for this video because when I do my ESCs will beep. So I'm gonna turn it on and now you'll hear the ESCs beeping. So let me go ahead and turn that back off. You can hear they've gone off. That's just a demonstration that we have good communication between Raspberry Pi and Pixhawk. Now that that test was successful, I'll just cancel out of there. What I'll do next is run the takeoff and land script that I shared last week and put it on GitHub. I'll be sure to uh, put a link to that below. We have our Python takeoff and land script. We're gonna connect over the serial port. Before I hit enter on this Python script, let me also mention that I do have my flight mode switches set up. If you ever need to take over, which I will do here in a minute, you wanna be able to toggle that. So let me just demonstrate, I'll switch to loiter. You can hear that tower echoes what mode we're in and we're in stabilize. Mode stabilize. I will toggle the loiter and back to stabilize and that should allow me to take manual control again. So let's give this a go. I'm going to hit enter. The script says now it's arming the motors and you can hear it trying to take off. Now it's going to continue to do this because if you can see on the screen the altitude is zero. The script is looking for it to I think go up to 20 meters and then land. So I'm going to go ahead and flip to loiter, then back to stabilize. Now that I'm in stabilize, I'll just go ahead and disarm the motors. Really excited about that. That was the drone kit 
takeoff and land script. It's just a modification that I made to one of the example scripts and appears to be working well. We'll only know once the weather clears up and I can get this into the field. Now one other note I want to make is that I did have problems with tower being connected while Raspberry Pi was trying to communicate. So let me just see if I can demonstrate that real quick. It's, it's sort of wigged out. Mode stabilized, mode unknown. Mode stabilized, mode stabilized, mode unknown. So you could hear that that was wigging out a good bit. So there must be a communication issue or perhaps messages are getting mixed up between the two ports. Not entirely sure. I'll save that for another day. But in the meantime, I will leave any telemetry aside when I do the field test and I'll just have control through my flight mode switch. And really impressed by the number of you that are experimenting with companion computers and PixHawk. That's really exciting to me. I hope you guys found this video useful and I look forward to doing a field test soon. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.